Jessica. Hi, Kim. It's, it's hard to keep track of the days. And I, I thought it was March yesterday, but it is definitely April and Easter is just around the corner. So I'm just catching up here. It's been busy. The weather has been nonstop since yesterday. And as we look downtown or as we look at downtown, 63 degrees. The humidity is up to 75% and sunset will be at 713. Just keep in mind, even though there will be some dry breaks in between showers, just be mindful of looking at the radar before you step outside. Temperatures are in the 60s near the coast, 40s in our mountains, 42 in Mount Laguna, and those temperatures will be a lot colder tonight. We're looking at temperatures falling into the 30s, maybe even a few 20s. Now, the winds have been gusting in downtown San Diego, La Jolla, IB, and also in Kearney Mesa. For the rest of the county, actually the windiest place is just closer to downtown, and the core of this system will continue to pull in moisture. Now, the placement of it, it's actually pivoting some of that moisture flow that we had earlier today, and it's now streaming right over Mexico and then moving in into areas like IB over towards Campo, where we'll have a better chance of rain. Flash, flash flood watch will stay in effect until 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. And as we look right now at what's left, there it is, a few showers in Valley Center, but certainly looking much drier in Sanitas, Rancho Bernardo, Poway, Mira Mesa. The numbers have been updated, though. The amount of rain we've seen just since early this afternoon, we've added another tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch around the county from what we, we actually got before two o'clock this afternoon. So the numbers keep going up and make sure to update them and I'll have that for you um, in the next weather update. But for right now, we're looking at the overnight chance, hourly forecast at eight o'clock, only 50% chance, and then it goes back up after midnight. So again, depending on the placement of that low, it pivots that moisture flow. And then at times it may just target a few areas of the county or the entire county but the chance is going to continue. We'll see periods of rain and also we'll see uh, snow showers. The temperatures most likely are going to be falling, especially in areas like our mountains where it's going to be a lot colder and um, the winds also will continue to gust around the county. The temperatures again falling with uh, most areas picking up another half an inch to an inch of rain. And let's see if we can continue this forecast here with our mountains getting up to four inches. As we look at our seven day forecast, let's see if we can make this work. Uh, the temperatures will stay in the low 60s. Oh, there it is, we're back. 60s with uh, temperatures around 63 Friday and a chance for showers and thunderstorms. Isolated thunderstorms could occur in the afternoon and also into the, this evening. We haven't seen much yet, but the chance will continue through Thursday. And the system actually slowing down a little bit more than yesterday, and it looks like it won't be out of here until Saturday. At least we have the weekend to enjoy, but I am keeping an eye on a coastal low that could potentially add clouds on Sunday. It looks like it's going to stay dry, so we do have something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. I'll be updating the rain totals, and I'll have that for you coming up. All right, but before that, the weather making it easier to stay home for everyone. Thank you, Angelica.